Hi, I'm Henry Lee of uh, BlueHeronArts.com. How do you like our new video intro? I hope you like it. Uh, this is the CEO, same artist who made the video for us, the uh, Blue Heron Arts logo video intro. And uh, his name is uh, Peter. Um, I'm doing a name chop for Peter in return of his favor doing the video intro for us. The design that we have is uh, basically uh, based on his uh, artist name signature uh, in three letters, the P, H, and N. It looks like a four, but uh, it's not. This letter is uh, N. So um, this is a name chop. Um, so with three letters P H N, and this is his handwriting style, and because his uh, artwork has to do with uh, snakes, uh, we decide to use snake as a decoration with this uh, seal. Snake is happened to be the one of the uh, twelve zodiac animals in Chinese uh, folk art. So we have uh, this book with the dragon and the snake. It's a series of uh, Chinese zodiac uh, collections that I have. Uh, so we found some uh, folk art in this book. It's a paper cut um, with a, a koi snake that uh, Peter likes to use. This gives us the inspiration for this uh, name chart design. So I. I made some uh, designs on the computer um, and I found the zoom in effect instead of the whole coid, uh, coid snake we use only the center part it looked like uh, the yin yang, the tai chi design in tra traditional ch uh, Chinese art and uh, the name is in the middle, so I added the tongue to the snack. Uh, makes uh, like a Tai Chi fish, you know, the yin yang fish. Uh, actually, it's the snake, the center, you can still see that. Um, so I made a transfer with the Kelsotan liquid, and then I enhanced it with the marker pen. Uh, you can find this um, in the in the uh, nail polish uh, supply stores, it's called the pure acetone nail polish remover, and this can be used as a transfer uh, liquid. I learned from the, my friend Cedric, and you can find the details in my previous uh, two videos. So uh, I use that to transfer the design right onto the stone and uh, enhanced it with the marker pen. Um, I already started carving now with uh, a small knife comes, uh, from the signature part which is uh, very detailed. Now I'm going to shift to a larger knife to do the snake. This is the fun part. I hope you will enjoy watching. That's why to start recording the carving process. You can see uh, this is a Qing Tian or Greenfield stone. It's very soft. It's good for a beginner if you want to try. A very fine texture. And I have this mirror image right next to me, so I can uh, see the design and for you to, to preview, uh, to see also. 
clearly what I'm doing. line in one stroke one carving okay and dust the debris with a toothbrush or any brush I will clean up the background later I just concentrate on the outline first notice there's one smooth side and one coarse side. Of course, the smooth side along with the contour line of the snake. I will use a small knife to do the little tongue. This is my um, favorite part to make a very cute, make the snake look uh, very alive. Actually, you might see better than me because uh, you got to zoom in um, with the camera. I mostly do it with a feeling. So there are some uh, random effects, just like we do it with the freestyle painting. the main uh, body define the body with uh, some long cuts and then we do the padding Okay, now I'm going to work on the pattern on the snake body. Um, I'm not going to exactly follow the design because I want to uh, show some hand carved uh, interesting, you know, or make it more artistic. So not to like a computer. So I like to pay attention on the 
perspective on the curves and the, the line so the body is round So the stone carving is like a, a little relief. You know, you could have little uh, change in the depth, depth, not just like a stencil. You know, the paper cut effect. So, so I cut some light, uh, heavier, some lighter. Something looks complicated, but not really if it has some uh, um, rules, you know, to just follow. Once you find that, uh, it becomes second nature. Now I would do the margin um, to use the pattern to form the, the margin of the seal, make it look like an antique or old seal. So it's not a, a sharp cut. It's the interesting part. And also indicate the snake outside the seal. The, so this pattern has to follow the body structure.
we almost got it. Okay, the last. Uh, we have to dot the eye. The Chinese idiom, dot the eye of the dragon. Dust it and then make a initial imprint to see how it look like, and then we'll do the fine tuning. Okay, now make sure the orientation. To take out some extra dots, um, that should be okay. Some extra points in the signature area need to be cleaned up. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, just a little bit on this letter N.
I think the chain should be a little rounder. Last test before we do the official one. Okay, now let me do the official stamp in my collection book. It has all the previous designs, previous design customized uh, seals, and uh, some for myself also. Okay, I'd like to thank uh, Peter again for doing the video intro for us and uh, um, I appreciate uh, the help and hope you like this seal and uh, um, thank everybody for watching on YouTube. If you have a request, um, please uh, send it to me, I will take a look and do it for you. Bye-bye.